Okay, well, it looks like I'm live. Do I have a mic? Let me see. Um, Okay, let's see, is that better? I think that's better. So hi everybody. I have a new laptop, yay. And along with that, I'm testing out my webcam setup. I was going to do a little um, video. And my little video turned into about an hour long. And when I stopped the video camera, as it turns out, my, uh, my camera corrupted the file somehow. Not sure why that happened, but I'm not happy. I was working on this blurry branch here because I'm testing out a new paper. I thought I would test out some Strathmore 300 series Bristol vellum. I saw a really good review on it and it could hold a lot of layers. So I wanted to check that out and see if that would be a good uh, inexpensive alternative for people that want to start working in colored pencil but really don't want to go to the expense of having papers like Arches Hot Press or Fabriano Hot Press or Canson Heritage. They can be pretty expensive. So if this works out well, it would be a really good alternative if you're new to colored pencil and you want to get a feel for it. So I'm doing a native bird to Nebraska. It's called a belted kingfisher. I've been wanting to do this little girl for a quite a while and I thought this would be a good time to do her and test and see how that goes. So here we go. This background branch is supposed to be very blurry and out of focus. So I'm trying not to over detail it but at the same time I need to darken it up. Now you may be wondering what this paper is under my hand here. This is called Glassine. And I use it to protect my artwork and my paper from the oils of my hands. It's important to protect your paper and your work from smudges and oil. Now I'm doing light layer, really light layers. And just building them up slowly. I'm not even sure how many layers I have right now. Because like I said, I was drawing for over an hour on this branch and it didn't record. It said the file's corrupted, so. So I've got at least, I would guess, 10 layers. So it's getting there. So a little channel update. I know I haven't been around for a while, and I apologize for that. But my laptop decided to die on me. It was less than two years old. It was an HP Envy, so I had to send it back to Geek Squad. We had a protection plan on it, and Geek Squad had it for a good two weeks, attempting to fix it again. But there were so many issues that a week ago on Friday, they called us and left a voicemail saying they were going to junk out the computer. And so we had to call 
and set up an appointment with a Geek Squad representative at our local Best Buy to get a new laptop because my plan automatically replaces it if something goes majorly wrong. And I did some investigating online before we went in, found a beautiful Dell laptop, which is much better than the HP was. It's more powerful, it has more storage. It's a two-in-one. I never thought I'd want a two-in-one, but it had everything else I wanted. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And the best part is it was more expensive than my laptop, my HP. However, it was on sale. So I'm really excited. It was on sale for the exact price I paid for my previous HP. So I have gone back to Dell, and so far I am just thrilled with this laptop. I've spent the last week trying to get all my programs installed on it and get everything up and running so that I can start filming and start doing live streams and having some fun. I have to tell you, I really like the way this paper's feeling, this Bristol vellum. Usually, uh, the 300 series papers are considered student grade, but this is labeled that it could be used for finished pieces of artwork. And it's really taking the colored pencil well. I've already used odorless mineral spirits on it. And it works beautifully. So I'm pretty, pretty impressed so far. We'll see how it goes when I get to my Kingfisher. I should probably show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> This is Strathmore's Bristol Vellum. I'm trying to get that straight in the camera for you. And it's the 300 series. You get it here. There we go. It's a really nice, thick uh, paper a Bristol board. It's 100 pounds. I'm used to 140 pound watercolor papers, but this is really nice. I'm, I'm liking it so far. Okay, you can probably hear my squeaky chair. And, okay, back to work. I'm using tonight Trying to get in the camera here. This is a Coombe Long Point. Oops, get back in the camera. There we go. Coombe Automatic Long Point Sharpener. It's a two stage sharpener. Stage one sharpens the wood, and stage two gives you the point. So I'll show you how that works. As Lisa Clow always says from Lockery Fine Arts, your colored pencil should be as sharp as a steak knife. And this definitely does that for me. So, took away some of the wood here. Now I'm going to bring that point. So I just gently turn it in the number two position. There we go. And there is my incredibly sharp point. I love it. 
and you want your pencil sharp so you get down in the tooth of that paper. Again, you don't want to press hard. You want to use light pressure, but that little point will get down in there even with light pressure. Bring this out a little more here. There we go. Now this branch back here is supposed to be blurred. So I'm trying to be careful not to over detail because I want it to look just a little blurry. Just a little out of focus. So I'm going to bring this edge out a little bit. I just want to say thank you to um, my new subscribers and to my old subscribers that have been hanging around even though I haven't had new videos to put out. I really, really appreciate you being here and uh, waiting for me to come back. Let me tell you, it's been frustrating. But hopefully now with this new laptop, I will be good to go. Also, if you want to leave comments and you have any suggestions for uh, the channel, what you'd like to see, is there, would you like to see tutorials, um, just speed draw, well I shouldn't say speed draw, time lapse, time lapse. Do you have a favorite medium you'd like to see me working with? Just leave a comment below and let me know what you want. I already have a few ideas in mind. Ooh, I'm getting out of camera shot. There we go. I also finally have a little studio area, which makes it nice because now I have my art desk set up, I have my art lights and my camera, and I can walk away and leave things as they are without worrying about them. And it's nice and quiet in here at night, so I can record. So I'm working in little small circles and ovals as I'm going over this. I want to get that tooth of the paper filled in. Just building up the layer slowly. I'll have to go over that moss some more. Once I get my my branch a little darker. I'm using Faber Castell Polychromos for this and a few Caran d'Ache Luminance. The Faber Castells are definitely my favorite. And the Luminance are a close second. Luminance has a lot of colors that are really nice that you can't get in polychromos and the two work really well together. I'm just bringing this line out a little bit because I want that to be kind of blurred, a little softer. Okay, now I want to get something darker. 
There we go. Deep mess up a little. I'm going to bring in some, what is it here? Uh, my burnt sienna in a minute because this branch has a little bit of an or orange tinge to it. Not sure what kind of tree this is. Make this edge, even though I want it soft, I want it kind of bumpy because we've got uh, some bumpy kind of bark. It's not a smooth bark on here. And so far, I have my drawing in graphite, the line art, and I'm really happy with how I can erase graphite on this. So I can't wait to try this for a graphite piece as well. Oh, let's see here. I'm gonna I don't know. Hmm. I started this on private just so I could test out the settings. So no one can see me or hear me. I'm talking to myself. But after I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and make it a public video. So y'all can hear me and, well, see my hands at least. Hi. Hi. I don't have my external mic on right now. That's one bummer with this laptop. It only has two USB ports. So my camera and my mic, or my camera and my mouse are plugged in right now. So I think I might get a USB hub so that I can have my external mic as well. Not sure how great the webcam mic is. Okay, let's get a little bit of that burnt sienna going here in a minute. Okay. I'm going to sharpen that up a little bit. Okay. Oh dear, my lid broke. It's rather unusual for a polychromos to break. I'm thinking my blades in my sharpener may be getting dull. Time to switch them out and put new ones in. There we go. Almost there. Okay, let's see. That's better. Okay. Now I got a point. Spin it out of camera. There we go. Bring it back where you can see it. Feels funny to be working in the quiet. Normally, when I'm working, if I'm not listening to my iPod Shuffle, I have uh, Harry Potter movies playing. But I don't want any copyright strikes against me, so quiet it is for now. 
to like figure out something. Over here. Okay. Think I have enough layers here. I'll go ahead and blend out in a second. Here. I don't know if that's off camera. Of course it is. There we go. Our kingfishers here in Nebraska, these belted kingfishers, they're not as colorful as the uh, kingfishers in England, which are beautiful blue and orange birds. But they still are pretty. They're brown and black and white. And they are so much fun to watch. I get a kick out of watching them. Okay, I'm going to blend that out, and uh, something I showed on the video that did not work, <laughs> the video didn't work, that is, I have this brush that I decided to try out. I saw it at the store. It's an e.l.f. concealer brush. Let's see here. And it's basically a makeup brush. But when I saw how small the bristles were, I knew that would be great for uh, using with OMS for colored pencil. And it really is. I like it. I'm just using Gamsol to blend. And since I blended a few times already, I'm going to wipe that off a little bit. And then just dab this in here. There we go. So I got these bad shapes. As you know, being a uh, Nebraska artist, that means I live in Nebraska. I was born and raised here, and today is a Saturday, which means Husker football. So I'm wearing my red and white nail polish for the game. We have a new coach who was a previous player for Nebraska that is very beloved by the name of Scott Frost, and it was his first game. Sadly, we didn't win, but they played a really, really good game.
Now what I'm doing instead of brushing it, I'm kind of dabbing because I don't want to move that pigment around. I just want to get the binders um, out of it. The OMS, I use Gamsol. It breaks down the binders. And by dabbing, I actually push, lightly push the pigment deeper into the paper, into the tooth of the paper. There we go. Just going to get this little bit. And a little bit of Gamsol goes a long way once you've got your layers on there. And now I can work on the moss. Here's my Gamsol. I use my old bottle and then just fill it a little bit. That way, I don't dirty up my new bottle because I haven't been able to find a container that is secure enough for my Gamsol. So I have my, my Gamsol here. Let's see here. Can I bring it? There we go. Okay, brand new bottle of Gam Gamsol and the almost empty one that I use just as a container. Wipe off my brush here. And now I want to work on this moss again. I'm going to grab the ink. Trying to decide which would be better. I think I'll go with leaf green. So I'll sharpen that up real quick. There we go. It always looks so funny once you uh, see if I can get it where you can see it. When you sharpen the wood because it leaves kind of a bulge on the tip of the pencil. And then you go ahead and sharpen the core of the pencil very carefully in the second slot there. And get your nice sharp point. There we go. That will work. Yeah, that's the green I want. That's it. So here we go. I'm going to take this green into the blender once it dries. I want to be kind of careful here because I don't want to uh, go over the bark while it's still wet. Because I could damage those pieces of paper. And that would not be good. I don't know why, 
but I really like working on the moss. Maybe it's because I don't get to use or draw it very often, but it's always fun for me to do. There's so many different greens in moss. Depends on the light that's hitting it and the type of moss that's growing. So you can have a lot of fun. I have to keep reminding myself, don't get too detailed. This is supposed to be out of focus. Well, so far it seems that my camera and my laptop are handling the live stream quite well. I couldn't get my old laptop to connect with a strong enough signal to live stream. So this new um, laptop with the better graphics card seems to be doing wonderful. I really need to figure out a way to have music or something, don't I? <laughs> I start concentrating on stuff and I forget to talk. And since this was set up as a, a test, there's nobody here to chat. Now that this brown's dry, I can get start kind of overlapping into the brown a little. Just a little bit. Am I getting out of camera again? I am. Sorry. So since I'm just testing it out, I don't have any makeup on or anything like that. I'd frighten you. Trust me. If you saw me right now, you'd be scared. But uh, I'm happy to record that the webcam that's built into the laptop works really well so I'll be able to have face cam when I live stream which will be nice just not tonight 
I don't want to scare anybody on the first live stream. <laughs> I also need to figure out a good time for live, live streaming. I know it has to be night because that's when the house is quiet. But it's the day. I'm not sure what, what day of the week to pick. Wednesday is out because I'm a huge uh, Black Reef Fine Art fan. And Lisa Cloud does her live streams on Wednesday night. So that's a no-go. I gotta figure out a good time to do them. I'll go back with the light green. Which needs to be sharpened a little bit. Oh, I should tell you, because again, that was during the videoing that was corrupted. Um, when I started the live stream, I finally got Durant pencil extenders today. They come in two sizes. The silver one's larger and it holds Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils, which I have a ton of Caran d'Ache pencils, usually white, mostly white, that are that big, and I want to keep using them. So I was able to get the Derwent extender, and it fits perfectly. So I'm a happy camper now because I can use my little stubs. I have uh, other pencil extenders. They weren't very expensive and they work wonderful for my graphite and my polychromos. But those Caran d'Ache luminance, they're bigger. And it's hard to find something that fits them. Now I need to see if my Derwent ink pens fit in it. I'm sure they do. Yeah, I ran out of things to say again. I'm busy <laughs> looking at this moth.
time. The graphics on this may not have her great to you. I actually got Minecraft installed. We got Minecraft for my daughter several years ago. Didn't know too much about it. And yeah, mommy fell in love with it, so I have my own Minecraft so that we can build things together. She can be on my husband's old laptop while I'm on mine. I have a blast in that because I like to work in the creative mode, the sandbox mode, and build things. It's pretty fun. Of course, now that I have this new laptop, which has amazing graphics, my daughter wants to play Fortnite on it. And I'm like, uh, no. Mommy needs to work. I can hear her bouncing around out there in the other room. Well, it's starting to look like a branch with some moss on it. Put some in here. 
This is brown ochre, 10%. And I really like it for wood. It's brand blue. It's a beautiful color. One of my favorite luminance. My buffed titanium. I think my most used pencils are my buff titanium Caran d'Ache luminance and my Caran d'Ache luminance white. I go through those like crazy. Okay. Let's see. A little dark sepia. Yeah. Yeah, this paper is taking a lot of layers. It's doing beautiful. Yeah. 
A little bit more burnt umber. More. A little more burnt sienna. Take that red color again. Okay, and I'm not going to dip my brush in the solvent. I'm just going to use a little bit that's still on there. Smoke this down a little. I'm off camera again. Sorry about that. Definitely going to get some getting used to. There we go. Okay. Well, I think I'll leave that for tonight. Clean out my brush here. All righty. So that's where I'll leave it tonight. And we'll see if tomorrow I can get some regular video done on this piece. Hopefully I don't have any more issues with my camera. You can kind of see. I'm going to turn it there in the right way. My kingfisher. My little belted kingfisher. It's a female. And she's sitting on a branch. So tomorrow I'll start working on her. So if you have stuck through this and listened to me ramble and stayed through the silence, thank you so much. And I hope to see you again. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here because hopefully my channel is going to start taking off soon because I'll be able to make videos again. Until next time. Keep creating.